Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to show you a few more tricks with the alligator. Um, so this time I'm going to talk about how you can use the alligator's effects um, on their own without any of the gating and without any of the other, um, without the filter and without the gate. And I'm also going to show you how you can use external effects to impact um, the alligator. So, let's start off with an um, instrument. We're going to start off with a combinator. And I'm just going to delete these out because I don't like having these there. Okay, so now let's create an instrument. We'll just create a Thor. And we will um, create a matrix. And the matrix will be auto routed to the Thor. So if we create a random pattern. <laughs> which really, really sucks. So let's just create a pattern like that and play it. Okay, I'm also going to shift the pattern down a little. Shift the pattern down, shift the pattern down. Shift the pattern down. Okay, so let's play it. Okay, just a stupid little pattern. Okay, now we're going to create uh, an alligator, so let's do that now. Let's create the alligator. And when we play it, it sounds kind of like... Good enough for now. Um, now, if you just want to use these effects sections, so just the drive, the phaser, the delay, um, and the panning and the volume, the easy way to do that is um, select pattern number 60, go to the back, let's take gate number three, put that to gate number two, gate number two goes to gate number one, gate number one goes to gate number three. So now everything is open, and if you play it, it's all going through these three sections. So what you want to do is you only want to send it to one channel along this line. So I'm just going to send it to the low pass channel. So what I'm going to do is turn off this filter here for the low pass and I'm also going to reduce the volume of the first two channels. So now when you listen to it It's only going through this bottom channel. Um, to make it sound about the same as if it was not going through the alligator at all, change this volume knob to 64 and leave this volume knob at 100. And now when you play it, what's happening is you're not hearing any difference if you bypass the alligator or if you leave the alligator on. So let's just do that again. So these are the settings to keep everything in line with um, the original sound source and not have that go through the effect at all. Now, what's happening is it's bypassing the gate because the gate is completely open. It's not touching the filters because we've turned the filter section off. So the only thing that will affect this is the effects section, which is these three knobs here, the drive, the phaser, the delay, and the mixer section, which is these two knobs, the pan and the volume. So we can play around with those effects and we can hear how that sounds. <laughs> And that is how you can use just the effects section of the alligator and the mix section here as well. Okay, very good.
good. So now if we didn't want to use the effect section but instead we wanted to create set an external effect like a scream for example to go through this channel without touching any of the other channels um, let's just initialize this once more we'll initialize the patch and we'll move this up to number one we'll take these out and we'll play it so now we just want to use let's say the midsection here so let's um, take this output it's going to go into this midsection here so now you're only using this one channel Now we want to have a scream effect in this, but first, before I do that, and I'm also going to change the pattern a little bit. Let's just do. So you're hearing the gating of the alligator mixed with the matrix signal. And that's all well and good, but let's put a scream through this thing. So right click on the alligator, select effect, and let's find our scream device. Now if you flip it around to the other side, it auto routes into the main outputs. So you've got to do a little bit of changing here. You've got to take this output and put it into here. And then you've got to take this output and put it back up to the output source. And now it's going through the screen. And you can play around with your screen settings. how you get an external device going through the alligator and then through the scream and then output to the outputs. You could actually duplicate this device. Duplicate it two times. Flip around to the back. Take the high pass output. Take the low pass output. Now what we'll do is we'll create an audio merger splitter. We are going to merge the signals. So take these outputs, send them here. Take these outputs, send them here. And then send the final output back into the combinator. And that's how you basically process um, using external effects. So you're not limited to using just the effects that you see here in the alligator. You can use Scream, you can use any of the other ones, the Unison, the, um, the alternate phaser. Um, you can use the chorus device if you want. You can even use Thor filters. Uh, you can use uh, Kong effects. Anything you you set your mind to. It's really simple because you can route them separately by channel, or you can just route the main output going into the scream or into any external effect you want, and then back out to the um, the main combinator uh, from device. Uh, inputs. So that's pretty much it. I hope that shows you a couple more tricks with the alligator and I uh, hope you come visit me at uh, reason101.net where I will have more tutorials for you. Thanks a lot for watching. <laughs>